Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Lisa Garcia Bedoya. I'm the director of the Institute of Governmental Studies here at UC Berkeley, and it is my tremendous pleasure to welcome you to our eighth um, gubernatorial postmortem um, called uh, California Votes, the 2018 election. Uh, some of you may not know that this year actually marks the 100th anniversary of the Institute of Governmental Studies, so we're very excited about that. Um, the Institute, since it was created, has sought to expand understanding of American governance, public policy, and politics. Um, in particular, we train students to engage in public service. We do high quality research about different aspects of the electoral process, and we do our best to improve the quality of the discourse around politics in California and nationally. Um, we've always had a strong focus on California, so that's why I'm so excited to have um, this event today. And we have organized conferences and other events like this for the last 25 years in order to try to shed some light on, on how to improve uh, political engagement and go governance in the future. So today, we're going to look at some specific things. If you uh, don't have a program, they are available out front. But if you do, you'll see that we're going to look at the gubernatorial campaign and the, con the competitive congressional races across the state. And we'll also talk about in our first panel the process of demographic change in California and what that means for the future of politics. And then also in the afternoon, the changing statics of women, um, both in California and nationally, and what that means for the future of the state and the nation. And we hope that you will leave today with a much better understanding of what happened in 2018 and um, perhaps a different perspective. You know, we, we tend to expect that we'll know everything about what happened in the election by midnight of election day. Um, I'm hoping we can start a process of changing that expectation because, in fact, in California on election night, we had four million votes waiting to be counted. And that is actually the product of some tremendously progressive electoral reforms that we've made to make it easier for people to vote in the state of California. And so that's actually a good thing. So in fact, now at the end of January is when the voter file is available. So today will be the day that you can actually find out what really happened versus what people were pontificating about um, throughout November. So ideally, you will end the day uh, feeling more wise about the political system. Um, so this event would have been impossible without the generous support of our sponsors, whom I'd like to mention really quickly. Our gold sponsors are the California Association of Realtors and KP Public Affairs. Our blue sponsors are Keller Benvenuti, Nielsen Mersimer, San Diego Gas and Electric, Southern California Gas, and the USCW Western States Council. I'd also like to have you join me in thanking my staff, without whom this also would not be possible, particularly Ethan Rarick and Sonia Montezuma are in the back who've done all the heavy lifting to make this happen. I'm sure they will all sleep very well at the end of today. Um, so just some logistical points. The bathrooms, if you go right out the door, and then right if you are, if the food is on your right, you'll see the women in tech, it's a little glass bubble, make a left there. The men's and the women's bathrooms are right next to one another. Um, we're going to run the event, so each panel will include time for Q&A with the audience. You should know that we're videotaping this conference and uh, we're having a webcast, so if you want to ask a question, we're going to have two people with microphones ready to give you the mic. Please wait until you receive the microphone before you begin your question so that the folks listening to the webcast can actually <laughs> hear what you're saying. Um, the webcast will be available on the IGS website about a week from now, and we'll let everyone know who has registered for the conference um, when that is available. After this first panel, we will have a short break, and the refreshments, please help yourself, are available in the lobby. You will notice that this is one of the nicest rooms on the Berkeley campus and remarkably clean. It is because <laughs> we do not allow food or drink in this auditorium, so if you could please respect that rule and consume everything outside and not bring anything in here. Um, again, the program has the full information about all our panelists. And I'd like to also just thank all the panelists who are here and who are on the panel for taking their time to, to share their insights with us. These are all incredibly busy people and we really appreciate them doing this for us. And as I mentioned, our first panel will focus on demographic change in California and the political implications of that. So I'm gonna take my seat because I'm actually on this panel and turn it over to our wonderful moderator, Marisa Lagos from KQED, someone whose voice I'm sure all of you know and perhaps you're excited to actually see her face in person. Thank you.